Being a college student is a lot of work. There are so many responsibilities, so many things you have to get done and fit into your schedule it can be a little bit overwhelming. Whether you are a freshman coming in, it's your first semester, you're living on your own for the first time, staying in the dorms or an off-campus apartment, or whether you're a adult who's married with kids, a full-time job, no matter what, you're going to have responsibilities and you're probably going to face some challenges in managing your time. And time management is one of those key skills that will help determine whether or not you're successful in college and in life. So I'd like to talk to you a little bit about how to manage your time. No one doubts how busy college students can be, but managing time is a skill that takes practice and effort, and if you find a way to do it, you can be very successful in your academics as well as your social life, your work responsibilities, and your family responsibilities. So many students have a million things to get done every day, every week, every weekend. There's always something going on, so how do you find a way to balance going to class, doing homework, writing papers, doing research, doing math problems, um, going to your job, doing grocery shopping, taking care of your family, taking care of your kids, taking care of your siblings, and find ways to have fun. Sometimes it can just be a little bit too much, and I'm guessing that many of you would rather be taking a rest, getting some sleep. And sleep is the one thing students tend to sacrifice to fit everything else in. So as you're thinking about your time, um, think about how you use it, think about how you might be more effective with it, and I'm going to show you a couple of tools that might help you do that. One of the first things you should do when you start a semester is take a look at the syllabus and the schedule provided to you from the instructor. So the syllabus will give you important policies and important information related to your class, but it often includes a schedule that will give you some detailed information on major assignments and important due dates throughout the semester. There are several ways to keep track of this, and one of those is by using some sort of planner. This lets you write down due dates, um, track things on a weekly and monthly basis, and it gives you an easy resource to use to look ahead and see what's coming up. So both of those things will help get you started. But What's more important is figuring out how you're currently using your time. So if you're running out of time at the end of the day or the end of the week and you realize that some things aren't getting done because there's just not enough hours in the day, um, one thing you can do is stop and take inventory. A simple document like this will allow you to take stock of your cur current use of your time. So for example, um, take a week and plot out everything that you're getting done in that week. So you're looking at what you're currently doing, your current habits. When are you sleeping? How much time do you need in the morning to get going? What days and times are your classes? Do you have any labs? Um, where are you fitting in your study time in doing homework? Where are you fitting in time for fun and friends, workouts? So by taking stock of how you're using your time, you can analyze it and kind of figure out where you might be able to improve. So by using a document like this to track your time, you'll get a better picture of where your time's going. So as you can see, it looks like I really like to sleep quite a bit. And on Saturdays and Sundays, I tend to sleep until 10 or 11 o'clock. Well, during the week, I have a couple of classes. I have English, biology, psychology. Um, I'm taking an online math class. And it doesn't look like I'm spending a whole lot of time in class. And then on Mondays and Wednesdays, you can see in between English and psychology, I have a two hour block, but normally I just go to the cafeteria and hang out and visit with friends. Maybe I could be using that as some sort of study time or going to my professor's office hours and asking some questions or meeting with a friend and reviewing notes. Maybe those are some spots in my schedule where I could be more productive. Then as I look at my evenings, I notice that I like to hang out with my friends quite a bit in the evening. And then after I'm done hanging out, I end up doing my homework really late at night. Well, it's no wonder I'm tired. I'm staying up till midnight doing my homework assignments. Or I'm saving it all until Sunday night, and I'm trying to get it done before the deadlines, which means I don't leave myself enough time to review or to proofread or to double check the assignment instructions. So I always feel like I'm rushing because my homework is always at the bottom of my schedule. So taking a look at how you're using your time can help you make better choices. So I encourage you to use 
um, this time management schedule that we've provided for you to figure out how you're using your time and then look at ways to improve and be a little bit more productive. If you can master your time management early on in the semester, it will set you up to be more successful later on. And just understanding how your time is being used can help you to make better decisions when it comes to fitting in everything else that needs to get done during the week.